What if we told you that it's possible to travel from Los Angeles to New York in less than an hour, or from London to Paris in just 15 minutes? It sounds impossible, right? But Elon Musk was thinking about making it a reality 10 years ago. In 2013, Tesla CEO Elon Musk revealed his latest invention to the world, called the Hyperloop. According to Musk, it was going to be the fifth mode of transportation, faster than commercial airplanes and trains. But 10 years after he made this important announcement, the world has seen nothing of it. The question now becomes, what really happened to Elon Musk's Hyperloop? Is the Hyperloop dead? Elon Musk first teased the Hyperloop project at a Pando Daily event in California in July 2012. A year later, in August 2013, Musk published a 58-page white paper explaining the concept of a futuristic transportation system that uses vacuum tubes and pods to transport people and cargo at speeds of up to 1,200 km per hour. The technology was expected to run on renewable energy and also withstand even the most terrible weather conditions. Considering the advantages a technology like this would have on transportation, a lot of companies embraced the idea, with some even planning Hyperloop routes all over the world. Companies like Hyperloop One, Hyperloop TT, and The Boring Company all keyed into the vision. However, things didn't go as planned and some of them abandoned the project. Details of their independent achievements and struggles in the Hyperloop project will be discussed soon. But first, let's roll back the clock to the 18th century, when underground tunnel transportation was first conceived. English engineer George Mendhurst, in 1799, patented a railway system that could transport passengers and cargo at high-speed pressurized tubes. His concept eventually became a series of various inventions under different names such as the Vactrin, Atmospheric Rail, Pneumatic Railway, and finally, Elon Musk's Hyperloop. Even though all these inventions slightly vary from each other, they all have one thing in common, which is the idea of propelling trains or pods inside empty tubes and tunnels. Elon Musk's Hyperloop, which largely builds upon this same idea, consists of three elements. The first element is a sealed tube or tunnel that runs either above or below the ground in a partial vacuum to allow minimal drag for passenger pods to run at high speeds. The second element is the pods themselves, which will ferry passengers in a pressurized environment in contrast with the tubes. The final element is the specially made terminals designed to handle the flow of passengers to and from the pressurized pods. These terminals will contain the low pressure environment of the tubes as the pods enter and exit from the station. Now, back in 2013, when Musk revealed his plans for the Hyperloop in his 58-page white paper, he did so in a way that encouraged other people to improve upon his ideas. In fact, the Hyperloop Alpha, worked on by both Tesla and SpaceX, was released as an open-source design free for anyone to use, modify, and even improve upon however they deem fit. Consequently, a number of engineering companies tried to bring the idea to life. We start with Hyperloop One. Founded in 2014 and previously known as Virgin Hyperloop One, the company set a goal to bring the Hyperloop concept into reality. Out of all the Hyperloop players, Hyperloop One is probably the company with the most accomplishments when it comes to testing and developing the technology. In fact, by October 2016, they had already completed work on a 500-kilometer test track in Nevada, which they called the Development Loop, or DevLoop for short. In July 2017, they revealed to the public their first prototype pod called XP-1. This prototype set the world record speed for Hyperloop technologies when it reached a top speed of 387 kilometers per hour in December of that year. Building on that success, the company released its second prototype called XP2, and it attained a major milestone when it conducted the very first human trial of a Hyperloop-like transportation system. The test was conducted on Hyperloop 1's Nevada test track and reached a speed of 172 kilometers per hour. Although this may have been a major development, 
Critics pointed out that it was a far cry from what the Hyperloop was originally imagined to be. The top speeds achieved by both test drives never came close to the theoretical 1,200 km per hour initially proposed by Musk. Unfortunately, in early 2022, the company announced that it would stop the development of a passenger travel Hyperloop system in favor of cargo transport instead. Hyperloop One also laid off more than half of its entire staff during this transition, putting a complete stop to the company's development of Hyperloop for transportation. The next company attempting to bring Musk's Hyperloop to reality is Hyperloop Transport Technologies, HTT. HTT is an American research company that focuses on developing commercial transport systems based on Elon Musk's Hyperloop concept. The company houses the world's first and only full-scale Hyperloop test track located in Toulouse, France. It is also the first in the world to showcase a full-scale Hyperloop passenger capsule called the Quintero One. In addition to that, HTT reached an agreement with Abu Dhabi to develop a Hyperloop system that would connect the city with Dubai. However, despite all these achievements, HTT is still far from making the Hyperloop concept a reality. Even though they have created the world's first full-scale Hyperloop capsule, there has been little to no news about its progress. In fact, this Hyperloop capsule was slated to be ready for passenger use in 2019, but this never came to fruition. There has also been no news on the Abu Dhabi track that was set to be opened for commercial use in 2023. However, unlike Hyperloop One, which abandoned the idea, HTT is still fully committed to creating a Hyperloop system that would transport passengers across vast distances in record time. But for now, we can only wait to see what becomes of their efforts. Finally, Elon Musk's own boring company. In 2016, Musk founded Boring Company as an infrastructure and tunnel company that aims to create intercity transit systems called loops. Musk's loops promised to solve the traffic problems in Los Angeles by creating an underground system of tunnels that would be impervious to traffic jams. Unlike his initial Hyperloop concept, these loops consist of autonomous electric vehicles that act as skates and transport vehicles at a speed of 240 km per hour. One of the loops was actually completed and made operational in 2021 in Las Vegas. However, the facility known as the Las Vegas Convention Center Loop System met with harsh online criticism, and rightfully so. This is because it was basically an underground highway after all. To make matters worse, the very problem the loop tried to solve found its way inside the tunnels, as shown in an online video showing a long queue of Teslas stuck in a traffic jam underground. After the poor reception of the loop, Elon Musk and his company went silent about their plans for the Hyperloop. In fact, in late 2022, it was reported that the Hyperloop test track at SpaceX's Hawthorne facility had been dismantled and replaced with a parking lot. This led to many speculations that Elon Musk had personally stopped supporting his Hyperloop concept altogether. However, a few days after this news, the Boring Company's official Twitter account posted pictures of what seemed to be a new full-scale test track with a caption that read, Full-scale Hyperloop testing has begun. That same year, it was also reported that the Boring Company's Las Vegas loop system would be expanded and improved upon, further solidifying the fact that Elon Musk is still in the business of developing Hyperloops. Even though the Hyperloop appears to be a promising technology that could reshape the future of transportation if realized, it has encountered numerous challenges hindering its progress. Ever since Musk released the Hyperloop Alpha, many people doubted its feasibility, citing concerns over safety, engineering, practicality, and economic feasibility. One of the major setbacks has been the problem of maintaining a near-perfect vacuum over hundreds of kilometers in underground tunnels. Ensuring that the entire tracks are completely sealed would be really challenging as one minor leakage could ruin the entire system. Another setback with the design is the passenger experience, with critics arguing that being inside a small pod traveling through a narrow underground tunnel accelerating at supersonic speeds would cause extreme noise and discomfort to the passengers. 
This doesn't even take into account the possibility of emergencies and malfunctions while in the middle of these underground low-pressure tubes. Finally, some have pointed out that Musk projected cost for the Los Angeles-San Francisco route is severely miscalculated at $6 billion. Elon Musk's idea could potentially revolutionize the future of transportation, but bringing this idea to reality has proven to be more difficult than even he expected. Now, more than a decade since he unveiled his plans for the Hyperloop, the project still largely remains a mirage, one that might just be nothing more than fiction. We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think the Hyperloop will ever become a reality? Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to our channel. Your support means the world to us and helps us produce more content like this. Stay tuned for the next video.